Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to walk you through the process of transforming your own photo into a pop art portrait inspired by the six queens of celebrities and other famous people by Andy Warhol. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using this photo of uh, Marilyn Monroe. So without further ado, let us begin and the first thing we need to do is make a copy of the background in case we need it later. Simply right click and choose duplicate layer or press Ctrl plus J. Next, go to Image Adjustments Desaturate or press Shift plus Ctrl plus U. This will make the photo black and white. Next, we need to separate her body from the background. You can choose whatever selection method you prefer. I'm simply going to use a layer mask for this example. Simply add the layer mask. Set black as your foreground color. Click the brush tool and draw over the background to hide it. The selection doesn't have to be precise, just a rough selection around the edges will do. To make this quick, I start outlining the selection with the brush and then I use the paint bucket tool to paint the whole area in one go. However, this leaves a tiny thread around the edge and I use the brush to remove it. Next, we need to increase the contrast and get rid of the middle tones in the image. To do so, Go to Image Adjustments Levels or press Ctrl plus L to bring up the Levels window. Drag both sliders inwards until you are happy with the contrast and click OK. Now we'll start painting. If your subject is blonde, pick a golden color for the hair. Uh, for this example, I'm using FFD044. You can use the online color palette to find your favorite colors. Next, control click the new layer icon to create an empty layer below the main layer we're working on. Now control click the layer mask to bring back the selection we made earlier. Press Alt plus Delete to fill the layer. Select the main layer and change its blend mode to multiply, this so will make the colors below it to show through. With layer 2 active, click the new layer icon to create another layer above it, which will use the pen to skin. The color I'm using is FFB9B9. Now, pick the brush tool and paint over the skin of your subject. Next, create a new layer on top of the last one. I will use a blue color this time to create a blue eye shadow above her eyes. We 
We keep creating new layers for each part of the subject that has a different color. So we will add a new layer. Switch to white as my foreground color. Then I will paint over the eye, white, the teeth, and the jewelry. Lastly, add a new layer, pick a rich red color and paint over the lips. Now for the background, since we're going to make 4 copies of the portrait, each one will have a different background color. We need to create 4 more layers and fill them with different colors, so go ahead and create an empty layer below all the active layers. Pick a bright color of your choice and hit Alt plus Delete to fill the layer. Do this 3 more times, each time you need to choose a different color. Next, hide all four background layers. Now we need to make a composite snapshot of the subject with a transparent background. So go to Select and All, followed by Edit, Copy Merged. Select all the layers that make the portrait and group them together by pressing Ctrl plus G. Then paste that on top of the layer stack with Ctrl plus V. Do this four times. To make room for the other copies of the subject, we need to expand the canvas. To do this, go to Image, Canvas Size, choose Percent as Unit, and click on the top left corner in a small grid known as Anchor. Set the width and the height to 200 and click OK. Next, select the layer of each copy, pick the Move tool, and drag it to a different place in the canvas. Turn on the visibility of the background layers and drag each one to one corner of the image like you did just now. Select the background layers and group them together into a group by pressing Ctrl plus G. Now, while most pop art tutorials stop here, we're going to be adding some more visual artifacts to enhance the look even more. To do so, first, we're going to apply a comic style screen tone pattern. You can find the link to the one I used down below, so create an empty layer on top of the layer stack and go to Edit, Bell, Choose Pattern. Click on that little triangle on the right and click Load.pat. 
navigate to where you have the panel file to download it and open it. Now simply click on one of the panels from the folder and click OK. The one I use is named Halftone Fine L. Change the blending mode of this pattern layer to color burn to make it interact with the layers below it. If the pattern is too intrusive, you can decrease its opacity to around 50% or whatever works best for you. The last thing we need to do is apply a distressed texture. I will link the texture I used down below, download and extract it somewhere, then go to File, Open it Place, find the texture and open it. Rotate and scale as needed. And change the blending mode to screen. And that's it for this tutorial. Uh, have fun creating these colorful portraits with your own photos. I hope uh, you got some value from this video. Thanks a lot for watching. And hopefully I will see you on the next one.